Let's talk about what we're going to learn and cover in this course. Now we're going to build a sample website called Crafty Coffee and while we're building that we'll discuss how we can do certain things with craft. And also we're going to get to the Crafty Coffee site here in a few minutes. But first let's talk about what we're going to learn. First of all we're going to learn how to install, very important, and configure Craft CMS. We'll become familiar with the Craft control panel, the files that power Craft, and the directories that are most important to you so you can be familiar with where things are. During the course, we're going to learn how to convert static HTML and CSS to Craft templates using Twig. So we'll take our static working HTML, drop it into Craft, and do what I call light it up. We'll light it up using Twig so the dynamic aspect of the site comes to life. And we'll also learn how to plan and create content sections, how to identify different content types and model those in fields, and then how to organize fields into field layouts. Additionally, we'll learn how to create asset sources. This is a place where you can store files like images and PDFs and other file types. And in our case, we'll do it with images. We're going to learn also how to generate thumbnails automatically so we're delivering the appropriate sized image to the browser. Along the way, we'll learn the basics of Twig templating and template inheritance. For an in-depth look on Twig, I have other courses here on CraftQuest that will cover how to use Twig in a more advanced way. But for this course, we're going to focus just on the basics so we can get up and running and build our first site. We'll also talk about categories in Craft, what they are, how we can create them and configure them, and then assign and display them on our site. And we'll set up and use the powerful matrix field. Matrix is why a lot of people come to Craft because of how powerful it is to have multiple content types within one organizational structure and have the flexibility of having multiple different blocks of content in a single field. So we'll talk about how to use and set up matrix. So hopefully that's enough to wet your palate to get you excited about learning craft and following along with this course. So let's go ahead and jump in and move on to the next part of the course.